today's video is going to be about prefix and vocabulary so we're going to be matching prefix with a base word to give us a particular word we're going to be seeing what they actually mean all right before now we've been doing a kind of prefix not exactly prefix because some of the sounds does not have meaning whereas some does okay so um today we are making use of the ones that have meaning all right so i have this list here i have prefix its meanings i have the base word plus prefix examples right here so let's see how it goes Now I have micro. Micro simply means very small, something that is small, okay? So I have microscope. Microscope is used to view tiny objects, okay? So it is small if you've seen it for the first time. We have microwave. Microwave for warming our food, our stuff. It is equally small. We have the microphone. The microphone, just like I have this attached to my dress, it's equally small. So let's see the next one. We have enter. Enter simply means between, okay? between two people, between three people. Let's see. I have interstate. It between states. Enter school. Between schools international between nations okay now if you want to say something is between two people you can say enter this enter fellowship enter house when you want to communicate to someone that a particular thing is between two people you can use enter okay so let's see the next one i have re re simply means again re re again so if i say do something and you did something i want to say redo it I'll say redo it, okay? Redirect, you directed somebody and you want to redirect that person. I say redirect, you can say recount, you counted, now you want to count again. You can say remove, you moved, you want to move again. So you can use re to change a particular base word to become another word, to become the opposite of that particular word. For instance, direct, redirect, count, recount okay so let's see the next one i have none none simply means not without okay non-profitable when something is not profitable it is non-profitable something that gives you profit like something that gives you extra maybe you have you traded you had something that involves buying and selling and at the end of the day extra came out of it that is the profit right so if something is not profitable it is non-profitable okay so we have the non-profitable organization any organization that doesn't doesn't involve profit making is non-profitable organization so we see the non-governmental it doesn't involve the government okay is of it's not of the government we have non-essential something that is essential when you say something is essential it is important okay it is needed but when you say it is non-essential it is not important okay with it or without it we are okay that is what non-essential implies so, so this non replaces the word not so let's see the next one we have pre pre simply means before okay see pre nursery preschool um pre um pre-education all the pre that means before something that happened before the main event okay so i have pre-wedding that is before the wedding pre before the main event you have precaution caution you take caution like you caution yourself before the main thing precaution you have prefix that is what we are doing today we fix it before every other thing prefix it comes before the main the base word all right so let's see the next one i have pro pro simply means before okay before that is ahead at the front before okay it's yet to be done it is at the front so we have pro date like the date at the front i have project project okay it hasn't been is at the front we have proceed like proceed i have process at the front like working okay so the next one we have is this d-i-s this this simply means not okay not or apart now we can say i disagree if i don't agree to what you say if i don't concur to what you say 
I will not concur, I disagree. If I appear, I should be involved. Appear here, be here. Like, if I don't appear, I gonna disappear, right? If I don't appear, I disappear. So disappear is the opposite of appear. That means not, don't be here. Now the next one is disengaged. If I am not engaged with something, I am disengaged with that particular thing, right? So disengaged, engaged means being active in something. You are tied up with something. You are, are like something is taking your time. Say, oh no, I am engaged with so many activity today. I can't go. Or maybe uh, I'm engaged with my booth. I'm engaged to some um, house chores. Okay, so being involved in something like being entangled with something means being engaged to something, right? So if you're not engaged to something, you are disengaged, right? So let's see the next one. The next one I have D. D simply means down, bring it down, okay? Bring it down. So you have the value, bring the value down. You have value. Value is something that has, um, that is placed importance upon, right? But when it doesn't have any importance, when it's of no essence, it is devalued, like the value has stepped down. Okay, so they say the value, you bring it down. You have deactivate. Something that is active, you have activated, it's been working, it has been working. Now you deactivate it, it stops working, right? You deactivate it just like um, connect, disconnect, right? Deactivate. Okay, so we have the next one, degrade. Now we have grade, something that is of grade, of high grade, you degrade it, you bring it down to a lower grade, okay? If the, that particular thing is at this top and you bring it down to this place, you have actually degraded it. That is what degrade simply means. I have anti. Anti simply means against, against, Anything that is against something means anti. If you are against um, social clubs, you are anti-social clubs. If you are against um, group gathering, you are anti-group gathering. If you are against malaria, you are anti-malaria. So I have my examples. I have anti-war, anti-virus, anti-social. So all these people are people who are against a particular um, thing okay we have anti-court as well people are against cultism in the society okay so the next one i have is the buy we have buy buy means two twice so we have bicycle as you know bicycle has two legs we have binary we have binary number two numbers we have bilateral that is two-sided okay lateral means sides wise why buy means Two. So we have bilateral, which is two sided or two parts. So we have the next one to be the X and another X here. So these two X appearing here, X can mean former and out of. Okay. For X, you can say an ex president, an ex governor, an ex student, an um, ex wife, ex husband, ex girlfriend, ex boyfriend, whatsoever that used to be. That is no longer that is former okay and x in the other way can mean out of like sent away sent away from something okay we have like excommunicate you excommunicate someone from a gathering okay from a society from a particular organization you excommunicate someone exhale like exhale you have the inhale to take in now to exhale you breathe out okay the next one there is export okay we have the import right we bring in now when we take it out there it is export okay then the next one is miss miss when you talk about miss we have miss to be longly or badly wrongly or badly okay so it's either you misinform you inform badly you miss inform you didn't inform rightly okay you give the wrong information you misinform now you have misunderstood i can say something and you understand something literally from what i said that you misunderstood what i said okay so misunderstood 
understood is for understanding the past tense of understand is understood okay so now i have misbehave if you are behaving normal you are behaving normal if you are behaving abnormal you are misbehaving right so misbehave all right now the next one here is mono mono means one mono means one so i have one or single now we have monopoly when you have one particular source of a particular thing monopolist monopolistic uh, markets monopolistic and um, production okay so when you have one particular person one particular market one particular thing you say that thing is monopolized right now we go to monologue we talk about monologue you are talking to yourself is a kind of soliloquizing talking to yourself right so mono then log that is monologuing talking to yourself alone without talking to anybody yeah so let's move i have monogamy we have monogamy we have polygamy now monogamy means one okay you are married to one person not married to multiple partners okay so next one we have post post is after something that is at the front okay like after now what next that is post now we have post dated we have postpartum postpone post paid okay something that is after like this after right after now it comes okay now we have semi semi right here when we have semi semi is half of something okay it says semi half right we have half of it semi circle you have a full circle you divide it one side is a semi right we have semi columns the columns that are not full half of the column the short column okay now we have the semi finals when we have the um the beginning we have the um the middle we have the semi the, the semi finals okay that is um is not the final but it's about to be the final that means after that it could be the final right now to the next one i have multi multi means many so when you talk about multi you're talking about multi-talented we have multinational multi-purpose all right so this is what it is for today's video and i hope you actually learned one or two from this and if you had to subscribe why not join the family by subscribing thank you for watching stay safe and bye for now